Hello and welcome to another video on a bit of astrology and a bit of something quite interesting that is hap well I think it's interesting that is happening around the middle of September and I thought I will talk about this in the monthly horoscopes but then I saw that in the uh, eclipses it it has um, uh, also a very important uh, thing happening at the end of the year so I thought maybe it's better to do just one video about this and this is all about um, around about the 18th and the 19th of September so next month there will be and, and that's quite rare that there will be a conjunction so coming together of Venus in Scorpio Saturn in Scorpio and the North Nor node in Scorpio all at eight degrees so um, I talk about in a minute I go through the houses so because this is going to um, show itself in every chart every, in every everyone has Scorpio in a certain house and people who have planets around that degree or even plan or progressed planets around uh, eight degrees of Scorpio or Taurus or to a lesser extent um, Aquarius and Leo will feel that the most that has um, uh, that reflects that a lot is happening around that uh, particular point. But first of all, what does it mean? Um, as I said, it doesn't quite often uh, happens all these three, uh, that one point, the North Node, and those other two planets conjuncting together in Scorpio. So um, if we just take very uh, analytically, if we look at the natal chart, who has this um, let's start with Venus conjunct Saturn aspect. It always shows people, uh, even if it's in a fiery sign like Leo or, um, or Aries or, uh, or Sagittarius, Venus conjunct Saturn always shows people who are very reserved and very, um, could be very classy, very stylish and who um, are very careful to show their feelings and actually Mostly they won't and um, uh, the positive side of that is that I've seen a lot of people with Venus conjunct Saturn being great business people, being uh, uh, very good in doing business with other people because they have this objectivity and this uh, reserved uh, pr presentation. Uh, they are very professional and um, so that's why it makes those people very um, good business people. Uh, on, an, on a challenging way, it can mean that people will have, especially when they are a bit younger, maybe a bit of a challenge when it comes to uh, showing their feelings in, 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 in intimacy, so in, in, uh, in a relationship, in a close relationship. But that is what Venus conjunct Saturn is all about. It's about being very disciplined uh, when it comes to your own values, when it comes to what you like, uh, what you want to achieve considering um, keeping up with your own value system and keeping up with your talents um, and even in, in relationships you will tend to go to a serious relationship that has its responsibilities and that has its uh, serious deepness uh, involved that is the flavor of Venus and Saturn now um, with this on a collective level we will uh, so it, it reflects that that the energy in September it will have a bearing on um, on the whole month of September it shows that a lot of people will at some particular part of the in their life meet that Venus Saturn energy that I just described and it's in Scorpio which makes it even more interesting because then you mix those ingredients of Scorpio with it which is also a very a disciplined sign or can be very disciplined um, and can be very loyal so um, if, we, if we mix it with Venus and Saturn in Scorpio which is all about um, certainly Venus is, is all about the transformation through 
what we value in our lives. So a Venus in, someone with a Venus in, in Scorpio in a natal chart, people think that they always get what they want. That's certainly not true. Um, that is for Mars in Scorpio, because Mars is what we is, is related to our desires. Venus in Scorpio is related to what we what we feel and what we um, what we like and what gives us joy. So Scorpio, what what gives people joy with Venus in Scorpio is going very deeply in the feelings and going to the extremes, in fact. And quite often they do meet their loved ones in crises because they want to know themselves and their loved ones on a deep level. You know, it's not only the sexual level, it's, it's all levels. It's uh, uh, body, mind and soul. So, and um, uh, Venus in Scorpio, they, the, the meaning of it or what they need to learn someone with a Venus in Scorpio is definitely in being very focused and being very um, determined to to uh, get what you value the most and then to let it go because that's the uh, whether it is a child that you raise and that you have to let go whether it is a loved one whether it is a, um, a family member that once you have you know, it, it's all about doing a lot of effort in relationships and putting 100% of yourself in it in order to let it go, in order to not control, in order to detach from it. And through that, they uh, get up a level and they feel very free. That is Venus in Scorpio. And so if you mix all these ingredients together with the North Node, um, the North Node is all about, I think, is a very much when you see the North Node uh, through the transits uh, aspecting a personal planet, it's all about events, I think, and it's all about things that are going to uh, come up and to um, that are related to destiny, that are related to fate, that are related when it's the North Node, that are related to the future, that are related to where you need to go. And um, so the Venus, the Saturn and the North Node shows or reflects on a collective level for everyone that everyone will need to go very deep on a feeling level to, um, to, uh, to look what's there on a feeling level, to feel really on a gut level what they feel and to get in touch with the emotions again and with the feelings again. And when they do that, they can structure it and they can define it with Saturn there. Um, I think it's a really uh, interesting combination to have because the Venus in Scorpio tends to go to the extremes and Saturn can define it and can really make it very, very powerful. In other words, whatever it is, um, people will have the opportunity to see breakthroughs and to see new ways, the North Node, when it comes to uh, if they're if they're um, putting a lot of energy in in their values, in what they value the most in life. So um, that that is this whole uh, Venus Scorpio Saturn uh, North Node thing. And now th a quick through the houses. Let's start with the first to the seventh. So when you have this in Scorpio. And um, so this is your first house. I think this has all to do with your destiny and your life path. Because when the North Node uh, conjuncts um, the Ascendant, it, it definitely has to do with, with your uh, direction in life. And sometimes new people can come in and cross your path that can, um, uh, that can show you the way. But it's very much of finding new um, opportunities and new ways to maybe you have been working on something that you like. So Saturn is working on Venus is what you like. So working very hard on what you like. And now you see the opportunity. Now there is um, something that is uh, opening up for you. So very exciting. Now the seventh house, when this happens in your seventh house, um, this uh, constellation, it means that if you are single, that can come across a new person who's got this Venus Saturn ingredient, so who is very gentle but very serious at the same time, gentle, serious, uh, and classy, and um, you know, a bit of, of a, from a distance but very gentle. 
And um, if you're not single, it can mean that there are changes going on in a relationship, uh, like solutions that you, you have been working on for a long time and now it opens up. Now, the money houses, the second house and the eighth house, what happens there? If you've got this in your second house, which is a house of value itself, it's the house of Venus, it could have to do with openings up there. So maybe you're working very hard lately on your talents and maybe now there is something that is opening up. Or maybe you're working so hard for, um, uh, for increasing your financial situation and there is new ways coming in because of your own uh, efforts that you do, because of the work that you do. The eighth house can have to do with uh, heritages, maybe. There is a uh, heritage coming on. Or maybe there is through um, uh, money of other people that are um, you can benefit from that. Uh, in the best way, maybe getting a tax re refund, or how do you say that? But I, I don't know anyone who has that. Um, I mean, in my uh, uh, environment. But anyways, um, it can also have to do with um, new opportunities to uh, battle your own fears and to battle. Maybe you have been um, working very, very hard to uh, battle a certain bad habit or a certain fear and now there is new ways coming in. Now the third house and the ninth house. The third house, when you're having this in your third house, maybe um, maybe you'll get a new system um, or maybe you will uh, start a new course or give a new car course or learn something new or find new ways to communicate or through internet or find new connections through the internet or um, uh, anything that has to do with writing, with communicating is favoured here and you can find new openings. The ninth house the ninth house has to do with your view on life. So maybe you will have a new belief. Uh, your, your belief system will change. Uh, maybe you have done a study or um, you have read a book that has to do with, with, um, with the divine, that has to do with, with the divine and that has to do with being connect, connected to something that is all bigger than yourself. And... Um, so maybe you, you change your value system when it comes to your, what you believe in. And uh, on another level, it could be that you, do, uh, uh, you start a higher study or you go to, to university or you need to work very hard or you have worked very hard to accomplish something and now there is an opening up. What about the fourth house and the tenth house? The fourth house is a very deep house. And if you've got Venus, North Node, Saturn there, it could be the case that you have been um, doing a lot of work uh, on uh, inner work, on uh, trying to find out who you are and trying, trying to structure yourself or maybe you're, stru you're uh, renovating your house and um, you're making it more beautiful with Venus there and now there's an opening up and you find a way, finally. And um, you, uh, you feel more free uh, towards uh, that fourth house. So it can be your house, it can be, maybe you're gonna move even. Um, then having that in the tenth house is all about career, social status. So maybe new uh, parts coming in, um, maybe by a female because it's Venus in the tent. Uh, or a good connection, a, a strong connection that you have with someone at work who can uh, give you the opportunity to open up. Then the 5th to the 11th house. The 5th house is all about creativity. So for some people it will be a new kid, a new child. Uh, for other people it will mean a new setting up of a new uh, hobby. Or it could be something that you have been working on for a long time, your own project, your own creation. Uh, and you find a new way to do that uh, because Saturn shows that you have been maybe working hard lately on a deep level to make that accomplish. The, even, the 11th house can also mean different things, can mean new friends coming in, 
meeting new people and probably Venus Saturn like so again gentle and serious so probably a connection for a lifetime or on another level new new uh, goals coming in so new views for that are going to be important for the rest of your life um, or a new social more social gatherings social uh, connections with like-minded people or in some cases if you have your own uh, business it can mean the money of that business so maybe you have been struggling for money um, by doing your own business and now there is new ways new opportunities to gain a bit more money and then last but not least the sixth to the twelfth house the sixth house could be held so it could be that you've been doing stuff uh, to discipline yourself a bit more and um, or just your health you have to take or you had to take care of your health because of some reason and now there's a new way there's a new opening up or um, it could also mean work your day-to-day -day routines are going to be or have been hard for you uh, you know the day-to-day -day stuff that you needed to do was kind of hard and but you liked it because Venus is in there as well so you liked the hard work that you did and now there is something new coming in that can maybe change that that you routines that that you are in and the 12th house um, Saturn is supposed to be very uh, good in the 12th house because it has uh, Saturn it, it defines and it makes boundaries and the 12th house is associated with Pisces which is all about opening up the boundaries so it could be for some people on one level it could have to do with love it could have to do with someone that they have an eye for and it, it is impossible in a way or uh, one of the two or both are um, with someone else so it could mean that they are a bit longing in the uh, you know in um, how do you say that uh, kashi um, that you can't show what you feel but um, the positive thing of that is that it can open you up in uh, understanding more about love understanding more about compassion towards other people um, and very positive for people who are artistic and who are working in some kind of way um, where creativity is needed because it gets structured so because of being alone because Venus in the 12 tends to relate to um, spending time on your own uh, you can get the inspiration and be very creative as well so um, I hope this was interesting um, this uh, explanation um, it is related uh, also to the eclipses that are happening and there are happening eclipses at the end of the year a partial one at the very end of Aries can't remember the um, uh, um, the, uh, the, um, the degree but there is one at the 3rd of November as well that is an eclipse um, that is at 11 degrees of Scorpio so it's basically on that very point so this is something that is culminating around the mid of September but it will come back at the end of the year whatever is, is happening in your life um, around that certain point Wish you all the best with this Venus Saturn uh, Scorpio Nord Note um, constellation in your chart, but it definitely has to do with commit committing yourself to what you value very much and then letting go because the Nord Note shows there are new ways and new opportunities. Thank you for listening and um, see you soon with the uh, monthlies. Well, soon, I'm, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, it will be at time. Bye-bye and thank you for listening.